This video is intended to help understand what type of elements, surfaces, we want to have in MicroStation to be able to successfully export out to Luminar T. Now, this file was not created in Civil 3D. It was created in ORD, but the concepts are the same. What you want to do is export from Civil 3D as meshes or surfaces to MicroStation. I'm going to zoom in here. And as I hover over this element here, you can see it comes up and it's a mesh. That's my original ground. And if I hover over this one, you can see that's a mesh and that's my proposed road. Now, if I hover back over this one, you can see this is my mesh and that's my paved road. This is what you want to export out from Civil 3D to MicroStation to Luminar T. These would be easy to assign materials to, and they're going to come across as one element. What you don't want to do is have shapes, a bunch of individual shapes. So with this setup, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to export out the Luminar T. So I'm going to come up to my search up here, type in Loom, and it goes to Luminar T. It's going to process the file. It's going to then convert it to a Luminar T file, an LRT file. We'll give it a moment. And this is a GPU or a graphics processor unit intensive program. So the better your graphics card, the faster this will work. So I'm going to go ahead and maximize, and then I'm going to zoom in. And you can see there's my exported out surfaces. Now using the selection tool, I can then change or apply material to it. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on the slope. You'll see it comes up into my properties, and then I'm going to assign this a grass material. So I'm going to come over here to grass, and you can see it assigns it. Now this grass happens to have height. So I'm going to adjust the height down a little bit because I can see it coming through this section there. So you can see now I've applied a material to this and I can also apply this to my roadways. Now the roadway did have an asphalt applied to it and the bridge deck had concrete, but sometimes these patterns are small and repeating. What I generally do is just make them a solid color. So I'll double click on the asphalt. You'll see it comes up. I'm going to say don't use the map, turn that off, and then I'm going to click the color. And then I'm just going to make this a darker black here. And you can see that darkens up everything that's on that level. And I can do the same for the bridge deck and the sidewalk here. So this is a way for you to export things out from MicroStation, but they have to be, or they should be, meshes or surfaces, which you don't, again, want are just separate triangles because then applying materials becomes more complicated. And you definitely want to separate these things out by level because then we can just double click on something. For example, the bridge deck, I double click on the bridge deck and then I can tell it, don't use the material. Then I can t give it a color and I can darken that up, make it a darker gray. And I'm able to do that to everything on that level. So that makes it really easy for you to do. So let's go ahead and clear selection. Go ahead and zoom out a little bit. And you can see there's my, my bridge. And I did use a clipping frame here in MicroStation to clip this out so you guys can see what's going on there. And there's my mountains in the background. So that's just a quick little video on what you need to bring in a MicroStation from Civil 3D. Hopefully this has been helpful to you.